Hello, my name's Laura and today I'll be doing your cranial nerve examination, okay? Um, there's no need to be nervous, nothing's going to hurt you, okay? Um, and hopefully we can help you, okay? Um, I have read your notes before you came in and um, it says how you're suffering quite badly from headaches, yeah? Okay. And whereabouts are these headaches? Are they at the top of the head or are they in the forehead or the temples, across the eyes? Okay, so they're kind of on the temples, yeah? Both sides or just mainly the one side? Both sides, okay. And anywhere else is the pain? Okay, so around here, that'll be your sinuses, around there and in there, yeah? Yeah, it's all your sinuses all through there, so. Okay, well we're gonna do some little tests, okay? And um, we'll see, uh, hopefully, the cause of why you're getting these headaches. Are you having trouble sleeping as well? You are? Okay, um, is that constant? I mean, is it every night or just now and again? So it's quite regular, yeah? Okay, and do you wear glasses or contact lenses? Okay, so you wear them for when you're reading, yeah? Okay, and um, do you read books or do you read on a Kindle? You read books, okay. Well, um, I'm going to be doing some exams for you now, so hopefully um, um, we'll find the cause of the pain and um, we'll um, get it better for you, okay? Okay. All right, so... Okay, what we're going to do first is test your sense of smell, okay, especially if you're getting problems around the sinus area, okay. Um, so what I've got are just a couple of things that I'm going to hold out to you. I want you to close your eyes, okay, and then just place one hand over one side of the nostril, okay. So I'll, I'll tell you which one to do, okay. So I've got some something here. Um, so. If you want to close your eyes now, okay, that's great. If you could just place your finger over the right side of your nostril, so it's just pressed in, okay, so the left side's nice and open, yeah? Okay, so I'm going to hold this out to you. You can just breathe in through that side that's open. Do you know the smell? It's pepper, that's correct quite a strong smelling pepper this is ground pepper so I hope you don't sneeze <laughs> that's why I didn't hold it too close to you okay um, okay that's fine I'm gonna do the same now but I want you to do it with the other nostrils so if you can uh, close your eyes again please that's great and if you could put your finger over the other nostril and um, the other ones open yeah Okay, so if you want to smell now, just breathe in. Okay. Yep, it is in fact an orange, correct? It's quite a big orange as well. Okay, um, right, I've got another one here actually, and uh, this time instead of doing either nostril, I want you to close your eyes and leave both the nostrils clearly open, okay? Okay, so let's get ready. Okay. It's quite strong. <laughs> yes, in fact it is toothpaste, correct. This is actually a very extra strong mint smell, so it is very strong indeed. <laughs> Okay, so that's that bit done. Um, where's my pen? Sorry. One second, I'll lift my pen over there. Okay, so I'm just going to put the notes in from the smell test, okay? Okay, 
Um, obviously, if you have um, got pain in your sinuses, um, you're very sensitive to your smell, so that can actually uh, cause headaches sometimes. So, um, I mean, when you were smelling those smells, were they quite, you know, strong or, yeah? Which would you say was the strongest one that you could smell? The orange, yeah? Okay. your sense of taste okay so I have a couple of things here in my little bottle um, and I've got a swab stick okay and this won't hurt at all I promise okay um, all I'm gonna do is put it on your tongue okay and I just want you to see if you know what the tastes are so I will ask you to close your eyes otherwise it will be slightly obvious what it is <laughs> okay so if you could just say what kind of tastes and twangs you're getting on the tongue, okay? Okay. Right, okay. So if you could just hold your mouth open there, and I'll just put it on your tongue. Okay. Okay. It's quite sweet, yep. Yeah? sugary <laughs> it's very sweet it is in fact sugar correct yeah um it's some water with sugar in it so that's good okay i'm going to do um the other one now okay just mix that in right okay so we can do the same again if you close your eyes and i'll just pop that in there Okay, so just gently rubbing that on the tongue. Okay, so what kind of taste are you getting from that one? It's more bitter, yeah? Okay. Yep. Mm hmm. Yeah, so it feels really, really salty. Yeah, okay, now that's that's fantastic. It is the correct answer. It is actually water, but this time it's got salt in it, so that's great. So you're picking up the bitter and sweet taste sensation, so that seems to be working fine. Okay, so now I want to uh, check your eyes, okay? We'll have to lean in a bit closer for this, okay, if that's okay. Yeah, brilliant. So what I'm going to do, I have a torch here, but I'm going to look first just with my own eyes and then I'm going to shine the light in your eyes, okay? So what I'm going to do is just have a little lean in closer, put that way. Okay, there you go. Just having a look. Just checking everything looks fine. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to do the other eye there. Okay, yeah. It looks all fine in this one as well. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I want to test that your muscles are working fine in your eyes, okay? So I'm just going to ask you to close your eyes, okay? Um, and then I'm just going to kind of just gently tug like this on your eyelid. Um, it's going to be difficult because it's nature to want to, you know, open them. But I'm going to try and pull at them and you've got to really keep them closed, okay? That's great. Right, so if you could close both your eyes, please. So I'm just going to tug at the eye there, just gently there. It's not hurting you or anything though. Okay, that's good. And then this one. Okay, just pull in it there. Yep, and then that's fine. The arm muscles um, definitely feeling quite strong, so that's good. Okay, I'm just going to... Write my notes down, sorry. Okay, so now I'm going to um, put the torch here and just about this distance away, okay? I'm just going to shine it in both of your eyes just so I can have a, 
a proper look with the torch, okay? Um, might be a bit weird to see a bright light in your eye close like this, but if you could really try your best to literally look straight ahead, you know, look at look at my top of the head or my eyes, but just look straight get straight ahead and focus, okay? Right, I'm just gonna zoom in there, have a look in this eye first. That's fine. And then I'm going to do this one as well. Okay. Um, okay, that's brilliant. I'm going to get you this time, instead of looking straight ahead, I want you to follow the light of the torch. Okay, so if it goes there, then you look there. And if it goes there, you get it. Yeah, that's great. Okay. So with both eyes, if you can follow the direction of the torch, please. Okay, and then down there. That's great. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's fantastic. You're doing really well. this pen actually that I've been using but I want you to follow the pen okay and I'm gonna go different directions so like you did similar with a torch but if you could follow the direction of the pen wherever it goes your eyes go okay right so I'm gonna hold it around this distance okay so that way and then that way and then that way So just carry on following the pen. It feels like I'm hypnotizing you, but I promise I'm not. <laughs> okay, and then that's great. Um, so I'm gonna do the same thing now, but this time with my fingers. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place my fingers like this. Okay. <laughs> and then basically when I tell you which finger to follow if you let your eyes follow that one okay okay so first of all I'm going to move this finger okay and if you could follow it please yeah one. That's it. That's brilliant. And there you go. Just that's fantastic. Thank you. Okay. Um what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take both fingers again, okay? But this time I'm gonna wiggle the fingers and this is kind of a fun game, but there is a purpose, I'm doing it, okay? Um, so I want you to tell me which finger that I wiggle when I wiggle it, okay? Okay. Correct. 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 Yeah. 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 No, that's great. Brilliant.
Right, okay. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do for you now is check your hearing, okay? So I'm going to basically just have a little look in your ears, make sure everything looks okay and then I'm going to do some sound tests, okay? Right, so, I'm going to lean over here. I hope you don't mind me getting a bit closer, is that okay? Yeah, okay. So I'm just going to look in. Take the torch there. Okay, just having a nice look there. I'm going to pull your ear open a little bit so I can just see right inside there. That's great, okay. Okay, now I'm gonna look in the other one. Okay. okay, so I'm just gonna do the same, just gonna pull it a little bit apart so I can get a good look inside, okay. Okay. Yep, that's great, that's fine. Okay. Um, okay, um, the next thing I'm going to do is just do some, um, just some noises, okay, and I want you to tell me, um, what noises you hear, okay, so basically, the noise I'm going to be doing is tapping, okay? So I want you to close your eyes and tell me how many taps you heard in each ear, okay? Good. So I'm going to start with this ear first. Three, okay, that's great. And the other ear? Three, yep, okay. And again. Four, yep, that's correct, yeah. And this one. Three, yep, okay. So out of them, um, which was the loudest? Which one really did you hear better, the left or right? You heard the right one better, okay, that's fine. Okay, now this is the last test I'm going to do. Um, it's just to check your nerves in your neck and the head, okay? Yeah. So all I'm going to ask you to do is lean a certain way and stay that in that position, okay? Right, so... Okay. If you could please lift your head so it's tilting backwards. I'll show you, so I'll look silly, but oh well. <laughs> okay, so if you just tip your head backwards like that, and then hold it in place. That's great. Okay, I'm just gonna. Yep, that's great. Okay, and then back to normal. Okay, and also if you can now tip your head to the side and keep it in place. That's it, yep. Yep, okay, that's fine. And if you can tip your head forward, okay, so like this, and hold it in place. Yep. Okay, yep. no, that's just fine. Okay, and the only thing left to do, which I totally forgot about, is your uh, facial expressions, okay? And it's not about seeing if you can pull a funny face, even though you might feel a bit silly doing it. It's just to see the muscles in your face are working and the nerves and that, okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So um, if you can smile really, really wide like that, that's great. <laughs> Don't feel silly, honestly. It's, it's part of the exam. It's fine. That's brilliant. Just having a little look there. And keep the face smiling. That's great. Okay. 
Um, and now if you can clench your teeth together, okay? Yep, that's it. that's fine um, do you do you actually clench your teeth a lot or you know like grind your teeth you do yeah okay I think it might have been on the system actually hold on one second I'll just bring that bit yeah, I thought I recalled seeing something about that ah okay so you suffer quite badly with nerves yeah and you you, you grind your teeth a lot is that during the day and night, or just the day, or just the night? Maybe at night, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so you stop, stop smoking. Yep. And that's made you more anxious. Okay. Um, well done for stopping smoking. Very proud of you. Um, but yeah, the grinding is obviously yeah, it's it's a nervous thing, and sometimes during the night we we don't realise we're doing it. I mean, I've I've done it myself when I'm nervous and anxious. So. Um, that could actually be the reason that you're getting the headaches because when you're clenching your muscles and you know, it's kind of pulling here and pulling there, um, do you do it quite hard? And you do, yeah. Yeah, it sounds like it, it could be causing the headaches. And the fact that your sinuses are quite, um, you get quite painful. Would you mind if I um, just feel your sinuses? Is that okay? Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. So I'm just gonna just press on there. Yeah, it does feel a bit inflamed. I mean, yeah. Okay, I'll just drop that down actually. Um. Okay, and um, this is the last one. I promise. If you could just make your face kind of look like an word this. You know Elvis, the singer. <laughs> the legend of music he had a kind of uh, certain expression he did with his mouth kind of like a um i can't put it i'll just do it okay this is what i want you to do as best as you can okay okay so it's like a snarly thing <laughs> i know it looks really silly i know i look really silly but it, it is there is a reason why i'm asking to do that okay so if you could just kind of do the elvis look that's it. Yeah, that's great. That's fine. Thank you. You can go back to normal now. <laughs> if the wind changes, you'd stay like that. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to write a couple more notes down for you. Um, just to update on some stuff, really. Okay. great okay um, well what I'm gonna do um, I've got my folder here which um, contains information and, and the results of the test we've been doing today okay um, I'm gonna go out there and give it to my secretary and she can basically print it up for you in a record of um, results yeah but it won't be kind of doctor talk and hard to understand it will be very straightforward and simple explanations okay so um, hopefully um, that will be of use to you. Try and um, calm down, obviously, if you're suffering from anxiety and stress, please you know, try and keep as calm as possible. Um, try chamomile tea or some green tea to relax you. Um, do you go for walks often? You don't? Okay, or maybe go for a nice, just a nice, you know, gen gentle pace walk in a park or along the beach just where it's really relaxing for you yeah and um, try really really hard not to grind the teeth um, because I think that could be causing the problems with the headaches okay um, with the sinuses I'm going to prescribe you something which is um, a nasal relief thing okay um, basically it's an inhaler that sort of goes in the nose yeah best way I can kind of explain it and um, basically I haven't got one on me otherwise I could show you um, how to use it but if you ask um, my secretary out there she'll have some in the in the drawer so she can kind of help you um, but yeah basically you put it in your nose you hold one side down breathe in with that one okay or vice versa or you can do both depends on which side 
um, you're experiencing the most pain or things with you. Do you have a lot of trouble breathing or no? So it's mainly kind of up here and in the head. Also, um, when you have headaches, try and apply some really cold pressure, um, some frozen peas or something from the freezer or um, some cold water on a towel or something, just wrap around the head, that can help with headaches. Um, yeah, you do do that, yeah, okay. Yeah, definitely, I mean, some people prefer heat, but I would definitely um, recommend cold um, on the head, so it just kind of, you know, takes the heat of the headache away, okay. Well, it's been really nice to see you today, um, hopefully it's not been that bad. <laughs> yeah, but um, I'll update your records on here, and I'll come out in a moment, if you want to go outside, sit in the waiting room, and I'll bring out um, all your notes and stuff so um, we can get that report done for you of the test results. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.